This is a story of ambition, power, and murder. It is the story of a man who would stop at nothing to become king. It is a dark and bloody story that starts on a wild Scottish heathland where three witches plot and spin their spells. When shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hardly battle is done, when the battle's lost and won. That will be ere the set of sun. Where the place? Upon the heath. There to meet, meet. Macbeth. Macbeth, a Scottish lord. Here he is, not far from those witches, leading the Scottish army against a combined force of invading Norwegians and Scottish rebels. The battle is long and hard. Macbeth fights with great valor, and eventually... Macbeth! My lord, look! The Norwegians and the rebels run! The battle is won, Banquo! The day is yours! And Scotland's! Come, Banquo. We must find King Duncan and take him the good news. Sound the drum! Back on the heath, the witches wait. A drum. A drum. Macbeth, death come. Quick, we must finish the spell. Thrice to thine and thrice to mine. Thrice again makes up nine. The spell is done. Nearby, Macbeth and Banquo pause in the gloom upon the heath. I have never seen such a day. So foul, yet so fair. Aye. Banquo, look in the mist. What are they? Men. Women. Are they even humans? Who are you? What are you? Speak! If you can! All hail, Macbeth! How do these creatures know my name? All hail, Macbeth! Thane of Corda! <laughs> but I am not Thane of Corda! What do you mean? Can you see the future? What else do you see? All hail Macbeth, Thane of Corda, and one day, King of Scotland. No, no, that cannot be. Get away from me. Macbeth, what are you scared of? Why be afraid of good news? If you really can see into the future, what happens to me? Tell me. Hail Banquo. Lesser than Macbeth, and greater. Not so happy, yet much happier. Your children will be kings, but you will never be. So hail Macbeth and Banquo. They're going. Wait, how can I be Thane of Corda? He's still alive. How can I, Macbeth, become king? And how can I be father of kings, but not be a king myself? <laughs> They're gone. Into thin air. What were they? Witches, for sure. Come. We must find the king. Macbeth and Banquo finally arrive at King Duncan's camp. Standing outside the king's tent are three of his noblemen, Angus, Ross, and Lennox. Aha! The good generals Macbeth and Vagquo. Greetings, Lennox. We come fresh from the battle and have news for the king. He has already heard of your battle, Macbeth. And how bravely you fought. And he has told us to call you Fane of Corda. Fane of Corda, Ross? But that's not possible. Corda lives. How can I be Thane of Corda? Corda joined the rebels and is under sentence of death. The witches. What they said has come true. 
Banco, could the next step be the throne itself? Could I become king? Be careful. Sometimes the devil tempts us with small truths to make us believe the bigger lie to come. Look! Here comes King Duncan himself! The king! My generals, my breath and Banquo. Your majesty. It is true. The battle is won. The rebels and the Norwegians have fled. Victory! So, my cousin Macbeth, how can I pay the debt I owe you after today? Serving you is its own reward, your majesty. And noble Banquo, too. I am your servant, King Duncan. Today's joy overwhelms me. But I have one last announcement. I have chosen my eldest son, Malcolm, as my successor. He is now to be known as Prince of Cumberland. Yeah! Malcolm, Prince of Cumberland! Malcolm. Now Duncan's here. Prince Malcolm. If I am going to be king, this could cause problems. We shall go now to your castle, Macbeth, to celebrate. Your Majesty, I shall go ahead to Dunsinane. My Lady Macbeth will be delighted at the good news of your coming. We shall follow. Macbeth is valiant and worthy. We are lucky to have him as our kinsman. Now, let us prepare for the journey to Dunsinane. At Dunsinane, Macbeth's castle. His wife, Lady Macbeth, is waiting in her bedroom for him to return from the battle. In her hands, she holds a letter from him. My beloved wife, I believe these weird sisters do have special powers. They told me I'd be Thane of Cawdor, and it came true. They even said I would be king. King! Keep this secret. I shall be with you soon, Macbeth. <laughs> you want greatness, but are you ruthless enough to get it? You are ambitious, but I fear you will be too scared to do what is needed. <sighs> Come home soon, so I can inspire you to take the crown. Without me, you will never do it. My lady, have you heard? Great Thane of Cawdor, Macbeth, your future starts now. King Duncan comes here tonight. And when does he leave? Tomorrow. That must not happen. He must not live to see the morning sun. What are you saying? He must be taken care of tonight. Taken care of? Yes. Oh, Macbeth, <gasps> your face is so easy to read. But at the banquet tonight, you must hide your feelings. Be friendly to our king, and leave the plan to me. In the great hall of Dunsinane, King Duncan and all the lords and ladies stand to celebrate their victory. Be quiet for the king. A toast to our hosts. Lord and Lady Macbeth. Lord and Lady Macbeth! Your castle is beautiful, my lady. The air here is so sweet. Your Majesty, you honor us with your visit to Dunsinane. I hope we have not troubled you. We are at your service, my lord. Now, please, everyone, take your seats at the table. While the king and the lords and ladies sit down to feast, Macbeth and Lady Macbeth stand to one side, so nobody can hear them. Duncan, trust me. I should be protecting him, not killing him. When the king finishes supper and goes to sleep, that's when you do it. No, we'll go no further with this plan. He has come here to honor me. Can we not just enjoy that? What are you saying? I'd like to wear the crown, but I don't dare take it. What if we fail? Have courage and will not fail. Do it when Duncan is asleep, and after tonight, he'll sleep forever. Is that settled? Yes. It is. The feast is over. Banquo and his son, Fleance, are taking a walk in the castle walls. What time is it, Fleance? 
After midnight, Father. Listen. Someone's coming. Uh, who's here? A friend. Flairance Banquet. Macbeth? So you're still awake too? The king at least is asleep. He went to bed in good spirits thanks to your hospitality. We did all we could. A real feast. I dreamt of the witches last night. There was truth in what they said. Thane of Cordor. I hadn't really thought about it, but perhaps you're right. We should talk, Banquo. Whenever you like. Stay with me, Banquo, and we could all share in the future. My loyalties to the king, and ever will be. Now, we must go to bed. Come, Fleance. Good night, sir. Sleep well. And the same to you, my friend. Alone, Macbeth knows he must make his decision. Soon, everyone will be asleep but me. And then... What's this? A dagger in the air. Its handle turned towards my hand. Come, let me hold you. I can't touch it, but I can still see it. A dagger of the mind. I'm seeing things. And now there's blood on the blade and handle. It is time to do the deed. In her bedroom, Lady Macbeth cannot sleep. She walks back and forth, thinking about her terrible plan. What is he doing? I left the daggers for him. He can't have missed them. Oh. My husband, have you... The deed is done. Look at my hands. The blood. It's terrible. It will wash off. Just after it was done, I heard a voice crying, Sleep no more, it said, and then, Macbeth has muddled sleep. You're imagining things. Go, wash your hands. And why did you bring the daggers? Put them back in the room. I can't go back there. Give them to me. I'll wipe the faces of the sleeping servants with blood. It will look as though they killed the king. Lady Macbeth goes to the king's bedroom to leave the daggers there, while Macbeth waits for her return. Done. It will look as if the servants committed the crime. And see? My hands are the same color as yours. Someone's knocking at the south gate. I wish the knocking would wait, Duncan. The dead king sleeps forever. King Duncan's body is quickly discovered. The lords, Macduff, Banquo, Ross and Lennox, jump from their beds and run from room to room to raise the alarm. Malcolm, Donald Bain, your father has been murdered. No! Tell us the name of the assassin and we shall avenge our father. From the look of it, his own servants did the deed. Their hands and faces are covered in blood and their daggers lie nearby. I will face these lowly assassins now. Stop, Malcolm. Macbeth, let me through. Stay. The assassins are dead. I have killed them already. What? What has happened? The king is dead, my lady. No. Malcolm, Donald Bain, listen to me. Your father lay dead. His mother is so close. Who could hold back? Macbeth needs help with his lies. And Lady Macbeth knows just what to do. Help. She staggers. Please. I feel... And falls. <sighs> lady Macbeth, she faints. I, I must look after my lady. Lennox, help me carry her to her room. Yes. Dolby, dearest brother, we must be silent for now. Are you right, Malcolm? This place isn't safe. Something's not right here, Banco. If there's a plot, Macduff, or treason, I'll fight it. So will I. So will we all. We'll dress and meet in the Great Hall. My brother and I will join you shortly. Donald Bain, I don't trust anyone here. We must leave separately. I'll go to England. Ireland for me then, dear brother. Let's go while we can. There'll be no mercy here. Only more murder. To horse. At Dunsinane Castle, a week later, Macbeth's loyal followers cheer him and his queen as they return from their coronation. Hail 
Banquo watches alone from a dark corner of the great hall. It has all come true, just as the witches said. But did they make it happen? Or was it Macbeth himself? Banquo! Here, Your Majesty. And my lady, welcome back to Dunsinane. Our loyal friend. Banquo, what news? A Malcolm and Donalbane have fled the country. But they're telling everyone who'll listen that they didn't kill their father. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? That's not important. We'll deal with it tomorrow. In the meantime... Our feast! Tonight, to celebrate. You'll join us, I know. I'm at your command, sir. Are you, uh, hunting today? Yes, Your Majesty. Are you taking flayance with you? Of course, my lord. Good, good. Enjoy yourselves and don't be late. Now, please, my loyal subjects, your king has work to do. Until the feast tonight, you may leave us. Macbeth waits until everyone has gone. Just one servant stays back because Macbeth needs him. Those men we spoke of, are they here? Aye, my lord. I let them into the back gates as you asked. Get them. Uh, your majesty. The servant goes, and Macbeth thinks through his plan again. I am the king. But the witches told Banquo that his children would be kings, not mine. Being king isn't enough. I have to be safe. And I can't be safe as long as Banquo lives. Uh, here are the two men, my lord. Good. Now leave us. Don't bother sitting. This won't take long. This is me. Me too. Good. Now, Banquo. Banquo? Oh. Yes, Banquo. I want you to kill him. Kill Banquo? Today, while he's out hunting, all right? All right. His son, Flayance, must die too. We'll do you a deal. Special offer. Two for the price of one. Nobody. But nobody must ever connect this to me. Don't worry, Your Majesty. Our lips are sealed. As quiet as the grief. And our dyers are sharp. And as cold as death. Snick, snack. Clickety clack. Macbeth has been crowned King of Scotland. The day of his coronation is to end with a great banquet to celebrate. In her bedroom, Lady Macbeth waits for her husband. She's having second thoughts. All I ever wanted was for Macbeth to be king. Now that he is, I wish it had never happened. Not this way. Are you ready, my queen? We should go down. What are you planning, Macbeth? Just wait. I can't go on like this. You won't have to. Soon it will be night, and in the night anything is possible. What do you mean? That you don't know. Trust me. But... Come. Out in the heath, night is falling. Banquo and his son, Fleance, have been hunting and are on their way back to Dunsinane. Uh, are we nearly home, Father? Not far now, Fleance. Look. Through the trees, the lights of the castle. Uh, there are people in the path. And my lord Banquo, is it not? It is indeed. Do you come from Dunsinane? We do, sir. Looks like rain tonight. Oh, worse than rain. For you. Before Banquo can draw his sword, the two men attack. <laughs> It's a trap, Cleons! Mother! Run, Cleons! Run! Cleons does run, but his father has no time to escape. He's finished. Quick, get the boy! No use! It's too fast. We'll never catch him. Ah, that's no good. There's a feast for the king tonight. We'll have to tell him there. Come on. Dunsinane Castle and the feast to celebrate Macbeth's coronation. All rise for the king and queen. Macbeth! 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 My lords and ladies, welcome. Tonight we will forget the sad past and think only of the future. So eat, drink, 
and enjoy. Lords and ladies take their seats as Macbeth's servant comes to the table and whispers in his ear. Yes, what is it? The two gentlemen, they have returned. What? They wish to speak to you over there by the door. Oh, yes. Uh, Some uh, urgent business I must deal with. I shall return. Macbeth gets up from the table and walks over to the far side of the hall. My lord, your majesty. Is he dead? Snack, snack. Clickety-clack. Excellent. What about the boy, Flails? Bit of a problem there. Oh, he's very dark. And he's very fast. So, unfortunately, the boy escaped. What? You let him go? Idiots! Mr. you quick, your majesty? Never mind. At least Banco is dead. We can deal with the boy tomorrow. Now get out of here. Your majesty, majesty. My royal lord, what are you doing in the shadows there? Come join us again. Of course, my lady. Macbeth returns to the table to rejoin the feast. But when he does so... The table's full. Uh, here's the place, sir. Where, Lennox? Uh, here, right next to me. Macbeth looks down the long table, but he can't see an empty seat. In fact, in the chair next to Lennox, he sees a figure sitting still and upright. But that seat is taken. There's somebody... <gasps> Banco sits at the table, his face bloody. Which one of you has done this? We've done nothing, my lord. He's getting up, coming closer. No! Get away from me! I didn't do it, it wasn't me! Gentlemen, rise. The king is not well. Please, everyone, stay. This is just an illness. The king has suffered from it since he was a boy. Don't worry, it will go away. What is wrong with you, Macbeth? Are you a man or what? Can't you see it? It's Banquo at the table. Look, it's just a stool. You're seeing things. It's gone. It was never there. No? Please. Everybody forgive me. I am not myself this evening. We shall have a toast. Toast. A toast. A toast. A toast. 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 To absent friends. To Banquo. Yes, (laughs) Why not? Get back! It's here again. Get back to your grave, you fiend. I shall fight you, ghost. The king is not well. Please, leave us now. Good night. All the guests leave. Macbeth, still shocked, stares into space. You need sleep, my lord. Did you notice? Macduff wasn't here tonight. Macduff? What are you talking about now? He's plotting, I'm sure. Tomorrow, I'll go to the Weird Sisters again. Find out what else is in store for me. This isn't over. On the walls of Dunsinane Castle, the two noblemen, Ross and Lennox, have found a quiet place where they cannot be overheard. These are strange times, Max. Strange times. Aye, Ross, you're right. First Duncan is killed, and his sons flee. Because they were murderers, so says Macbeth. And then Banquo is killed, and his son Fleance runs away. And Macbeth says, Fleance was the killer. Shh! Is that someone coming? Even up here, we're not safe. And now Macduff has disappeared. Not disappeared. Fled to England. Why? He's gone to join Malcolm. They're going to raise an army and come up here and save us from Macbeth. Does Macbeth know? Yes. And is planning revenge on Macduff. God help Macduff. God help us all. Oh, come on. Let us leave this place. Well, we can. Out in the heath, the witches make their spells. Something wicked this way comes. Open locks, whoever knocks. What devil's work are you up to now, you midnight hags? A recipe, without a name. I want to know more of the future. Will you tell me? I need answers. 
Speak, Macbeth. Demand. We'll answer. <laughs> First question. Tell me. No need to ask the questions. We know your thoughts. Macbeth. Macbeth. Beware, Macduff. I knew it. Macduff is dangerous. Bloody, bold, and resolute. No man who's ever been born to a woman can harm you. <laughs> then I'm safe. No human can ever harm me. And last, you will never be beaten in battle till Burnham Wood comes to Dunsinane. How can a wood get up and move somewhere else? Never. I'm safe. One more question. Banquo's children, shall they be kings? Your Majesty, it's me, Lennox. Don't be afraid, Lennox. Do you see them? Uh, see who, my lord? The weird sisters, of course. But they're gone. They didn't answer. Are you not well, my lord? More than well, Lennox. Now, what news? Uh, messengers say Macduff has raised an army in England, my lord, and is on his way. Traitor. He'll pay for this. I'll take his castle, kill his wife, his children, his family. Come. Dunsinane Castle. Night time. Lady Macbeth's servant is worried and has summoned a doctor to the Queen's rooms. Just here, Doctor. This is where the Queen walks? Every night. And you think she's asleep each time? I'm sure of it. She says things. But look, here she comes. Watch. Her eyes are open. But they do not see. What's she doing now? Every night she goes to the bowl on the table there. She's, she's washing her hands, but there's no water. She's talking to herself. We can get closer. She does not see us. Out, damned spot. Out, I say. Oh, hell is murky. We're hearing things we shouldn't. Will these hands never be clean? Heaven knows what she really knows. The smell of blood is still there. This isn't an illness I can cure. Tell you, Banquo's dead and buried. But that's it, Banquo. He can't come out of the grave. And you say you can't cure her. She needs a priest, not a doctor. God forgive us all. We must go. And you had better forget what we just heard. Or we're all dead. In England, Malcolm and Macduff raise a great army. It marches north to Dunsinane and prepares to do battle with Macbeth, whose crimes now include the murder of Macduff's wife and children. Angus and Lennox meet on the heath. They too have raised an army and are ready to fight Macbeth. What news, Angus? The English army is near Lennox, led by Malcolm and Macduff. They have come for revenge, and we shall join them. For Macduff. He knows his family are all dead. He's vowed to kill Macbeth. You think Macbeth ordered their deaths? I know it. Macbeth is mad. His murders stick to his hands. Onward to Burnham Wood. We'll meet our new allies there. At Dunsinane Castle, Macbeth gets ready to lead his army into battle. The room is busy as soldiers and servants rush around. Burnham Wood cannot come to Dunsinane. It's impossible. Do you all understand? A soldier arrives with news. Oh, my lord. Yes? What is it? The English army comes near, my lord. All right, then. Put on my armor. And you there? Yes, you. Skulking. What do you want with me? My lord, your wife. Who are you? The doctor, my lord. Your wife, sir, is sick. What's the matter with her? She is... Trouble. She'll be fine. Come on, and let us go. My lord. I'm not scared of death till Burnham Wood comes to Dunsinane. To the battle! The moment has come. 
The army of Malcolm and Macduff unites with that of Angus and Lennox. Lennox! Angus, you're welcome to the fight! Malcolm, it's good to see you. All of Scotland rises up against Macbeth. Macduff, we heard the news of your family. Aye, the time has come, Angus. My wife and children will be avenged, and my father too. Macbeth and his men are in Dunsinane. We will lay siege to the castle. We have all the things with us. You there, what is your name? Seawood, my lord. Are you ready for the fight? The tyrant must die, my lord Malcolm. Good man. Now, this forest before us, how is it known? It is called Burnham Wood, my lord. Lennox, tell the troops to cut down the trees and hold the branches in front of them. The enemy won't know how strong we are. Come, lads. In the castle, Macbeth is put into his armor. You, tell my lady I'm about to leave for battle. Yes, my lord. Are the flags flying? On every wall, my lord. They cannot beat us. No, my lord. The queen, my lord. What? Is dead. Dead? She should have lived until the battle ends. There is no time now. Give me my sword. My lord, I have news from the castle walls. I... I don't know how to tell you. Just say it! As I stood watch, I looked towards Burnham, and the wood was moving. Liar! No, it's true, my lord. See, through the window there. Macbeth steps to the window and looks out across the heath to the far hills. So Burnham Wood comes to Dunsinane, just like the weird sister said. There is no running away now. The prophecy comes true. Outside, Malcolm and his army are advancing. We are at the castle walls! Throw down your branches! Sound the trumpets! Let's to war! To the battle! As the battle rages, it seems Macbeth is unbeatable. He cuts through the enemy forces, his sword flying. I am invincible. No one can touch me. I shall fight forever. Macbeth, worse than the devil. Prepare to die. Tyrant! You were born of woman. I cannot die. Turn, hellhound. Turn. Macduff, get back. I don't want to fight you. Murderer. <coughs> You're wasting your time. There is a spell on me. You cannot kill me. You were born of a woman. No, Macbeth, I wasn't. I was cut from my mother's womb before her time. What? Curses on you for telling me! Surrender then! Never! Lay on Macduff, and damn be him that first cries! Hold enough! As the battle draws to a close, Prince Malcolm waits for news in the hall of Dunsinane Castle. Where is my Lord Malcolm? Ross! I'm here! Is it over? The day is yours, my lord. Every part of the castle is taken. Yeah! You fought bravely, Ross. But what of a tyrant? Does Macbeth live still? Hail, King Malcolm. I bring you news of Macbeth. He is here. What's left of him? His head <laughs> on a pole! <laughs> See? We are free again! Yeah! My loyal things! Join with me! Hail Malcolm, rightful King of Scotland! Hail Malcolm! Yeah! The King of Scotland! God save the King! God save the King! So everything the witches said came true. And whatever the reason, 
whether it was the witches who caused these things to happen, or whether Macbeth was master of his own fate. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are both dead now. And Scotland, for now, is free again. <laughs>